Hello everyone, this is Marimage and I'm here with another quick tutorial uh, which goes over a nice little trick that I figured out to make your text-to-speech mascots on your stream make them sound a little bit more unique instead of kind of hearing the same voice over and over and over again and on the plus side compared to something like TTS Monster this is very very responsive you don't have a huge delay time before that uh, audio comes back from the website. I'm using a PNG today for this uh, for this video because it makes things a little bit less awkward as I'll be using VTube Studio to do my mascot, but this will work regardless of whether you're using VTube Studio, a PNG or a 3D mascot as well. This will still work. To give you some examples of what I'm actually doing, uh, let me show you what the default voice sounds like. My VTS Pog right now is set to Brian from Stream Elements. The Stream Elements TTS voices in VTS Pog are by far the most responsive. They have the least amount of delay, so I like to use that one a lot. So this is the basic voice of Brian. Pog Online Poggers. Great. But we can use uh, Voice Mod, which is the other software that I'm using for this. You can use the free version to do it. However, obviously, taking out a step further and buying uh, the software itself will give you more options. So, for example, I could change the voice to have an auto-tune on it, like this. Pog Online Poggers. Or I could change it to be one of their AI voice models. This is, uh, this is Karen. <laughs> Pog Online Poggers. Completely changes the voice. Or, again, we could do something like... Uh, an echoing god. Punk online pockets. So one of the great things about doing this through voice mod is that if you wanted to, you could actually do this as a channel point redeem that could actually change the voice of your mascot. If you wanted to have that as an option for your viewers, that could be pretty cool too. But the main thing for me is that you can really kind of get into the nitty gritty of all of the settings and actually create a voice that you feel is most appropriate for your mascot and is also unique to your stream. To go quickly over the software that you'll need, you will need VTS Pog for this technique, though I'm sure there's probably a way for you to do this with other TTS things. Just this is what the video is made on. You will need voice mod. Again, you can use the free version. I actually have the paid version. The last thing you will need is a free software, which is a virtual cable. This will allow us to kind of split off the audio from BTS Pog, throw it through the voice changer, and then have it come back through onto our OBS, onto our stream. And yes, this will work regardless of your streaming platform, or if you're using OBS, Streamlabs OBS, etc. So the first thing you'll want to do is grab all of those software. So again, I'm using VTS Pog. So go and grab that if that's what you want to use. I'm using Voice Mod. Use the paid version if you want more options, but the free version will work just as well in most cases. And then finally, you're going to get VB Cable. VB Audio Cable will essentially add a virtual cable to your computer that you can route audio through. Make sure you have whatever software you're using for your mascot open and then open up VTS Pog. On VTS Pog, what you're going to want to do is go all the way to the end of the audio section and on the output device, you're going to want to select whichever VB audio cable and then there'll be a letter there. It could be A, B, C or D, depending on how many of them you have installed. For me, it's D. For you, it could be something else, but it will be labeled VB audio cable. Select that one as your output device. Next. Once you've loaded up voice mod and you've signed in and all of that good stuff, you're going to go to the settings. Inside settings, you're going to set the input to once again, whatever virtual cable you have downloaded, VB dash audio cable, yada, yada, yada. Then you're going to set your output for voice mod to whatever your default PC audio output is. For me, it's system on my GoXLR. For you, it might simply be called desktop audio or whatever audio device you use for your, your main PC audio. Once you've done that, make sure at the bottom here of voice mod, you toggle on hear myself and also voice changer. This means that you'll be able to actually hear what is going on. And that is quite literally it. You have done it. 
play around with things and see what combinations you like the most. So it is worth noting, which is pretty cool, that if you change the voice of the TTS in VTS Pog, it will change certain characteristics about how the voice sounds. So for example, this is what Brian sounds like going through this filter. Pop online, pop yes. But uh, Sally from the US English voice will sound different. Pog online poggers. Uh, you could do a more femme voice here. Pog online poggers. As you can see, these two things play off each other. Whichever voice you have set in VTS Pog and whatever preset or custom voice you have in voice mod, those will interact with each other to create a more interesting uh, character. This should now work completely fine. You can hear it. Your stream should be able to hear it because it should be coming through the default audio capture within OBS. If it's not, maybe that's a different issue. You can ask down in the comments below and maybe I'll be able to help you out. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Go out there, create some silly shit and uh, have a great day. Bravo Mirror Mitch on Twitch. K, thanks. Bye.